Okay, welcome back. I just wanted to do a quick video. I've got the uh, wall all tidied up here and I wanted to kind of go over what's all inside of the wall. After we did the framing uh, of the wall and then we did the, um, if you remember, we had, took the template and trimmed the framing off to make the one by material that we used on the outside match up to the template so that it was exactly the same. The next step was then to go and take and trim off on the front and all the way back to the hatch. You'll see right here is the um, last spar where that notch is right there in the center. And we trimmed that piece off an inch and five eighths all the way to the front using the router, using the guide on the router and the eighth inch bit. Then the next thing was to get all the inside finished up. Um, first thing was the insulation. I like to put the insulation in first. Uh, it just depends. Some of the pieces, there's, there's not that many, so you can put them in first. You can kind of fit them around the wiring and stuff. Uh, before I uh, started to put my insulation in, I had a good idea of where I wanted to put my, uh, <clears throat> my lights. Uh, the main things that you have to put, or at least that we put, uh, in the in the outside wall is if you're going to put your lights in your wall rather than on your trailer you got to think about how you're going to get those wires um, to the location where you're going to terminate uh, all of the wires both the navigational lights that's the ones that run the the running lights and the the brake lights and that kind of stuff and then also if you have any low voltage uh, or high voltage uh, lighting on the inside of the trailer so that you have uh, lights while you're you know while you're camping uh, we do not have or not going to have any high voltage uh, lighting. We will have some high voltage receptacles, some plugs later on. But we just have some 12 volt lights. Uh, one thing we have, and you have to remember, this is the left side of the trailer. Uh, it's real important not to mess that up at this point. I've written left on a few pieces here, so I would remember um, that. But this is the left side of the trailer, so if you think about it, uh, this would be the outside. We're talking left as in and street side. Uh, the other side is the curb side or the right side. So this is the left side. We're looking at the outside surface here. Um, so on the outside, one thing would be to have a porch light. We're going to put the porch light here right above the door. Okay. Got to have someone to turn that light on. Either that light will have a switch on it, which some do. Uh, in which case you will just have one power wire going to that. Or, the way we're going to do it is, and the way we did it before, was so that we would have a switch on the inside. If you're inside camping, you want to flip on the light and look outside. You don't want to have to go outside and flip a switch. Then you can also have a switch here. We position this switch uh, right here. Now, two things here. What we did, this is uh, the blue tubing there you'll see is PEX tubing. It's used for um, newer houses use that as the uh, supply line in the house for water <clears throat> but it works out that uh, we're using three quarter inch walls here and that tubing the outside diameter of it is five eighths of an inch um, so that leaves a little bit of um, meat there if you're drilling through the wall which we did here you'll notice up here we drilled a, a hole at the top of the the wall there uh, with a 5 8 inch bit and the tubing fits in it nice and snug fits perfect We just figured out where we wanted to put our um, Our switch at our switch there is uh, and I Actually, I've marked the other stuff. I did not mark that switch. There is 24 inches off of the floor You want it so that you can measure it off of something that's finished when you're done Well when you're when you're done you can't measure off of other boards on the wall very easily But you can measure measure off the floor so um, I went and that's actually 24 inches up from the floor and it's actually six inches over from the door. So when my when my wall is finished on the other side, on the inside, I'll be able to measure over and up <clears throat> and then uh, drill a hole and pull my wire out. Okay, so uh, we did have to go ahead and run a wire here and you'll see we're doing on the back of the trailer. We're going to do a light down here at the very bottom corner actually on the outside wall of the trailer so couldn't figure out a really good way to get that wire 
uh, up into the ceiling. All of our wires are going into the ceiling. And then we're going to have in the a tongue box in the front, we're going to have the uh, 12 volt wires terminated. So they'll come out of the front wall, go through a grommet, and go into the tongue box. So you got to remember, you got a hatch back here. So that wire can't just go straight up. It's got to go past our bulkhead wall. That's the, the bigger one by four there with the two lines on it. It's got to go past that and then get up into the ceiling area. So not a good way to do that kind of after the fact like we did here. So before we close the walls up, I actually ran a wire. I just used a, a combination of my router. I used my router to route a little groove, maybe a um, three eighths of an inch or so deep and just wide enough for the wire to get through both of those members there. The other thing I did was I marked that 15 inches from the center there to the back curve. That way when I'm putting nails through this, when I put the side material on, I hopefully um, do not put any nails through that. Okay. Um, I marked it on the bottom there just for reference. It's um, two inches up from the floor and I think it's uh, eight inches from that back curve at that two inch mark. Okay. On the front here, I did a similar thing. That wire basically just goes up and then goes into the front wall there and then it'll find its way over and through the same hole as the rest of the wires that go into the, um, into the tongue box. So, uh, no other wires. We're not running any other wires in the, uh, in the wall here. Uh, basically the porch light, the porch light switch. Uh, if you were going to run maybe a ceiling light on each side and mount that in the wall, you could do that here um, and put it up, up top somewhere. Um, our fan has a switch on it. The fan we're going to have in the ceiling. That's something else you have to think about. Um, but it has a switch, like I said, on it. So we'll just run a wire to it. Um, there, so there's no other lights that we'll have that will have switches. Um, or if you, if you want to have a switch for your ceiling light so that you didn't have to lean all the way up and, and turn that on, um, you could also put yourself a switch in the wall right here. So we've got our switches in, or uh, our wiring uh, allocated here. We've also got our foam insulation. Uh, foam insulation, a couple of different ways. You can either cut that with a, a saw. You'll see on the bottom, bottom piece here, I've got nice clean edges. Uh, I've just measured that cut it with a saw. It does not have to be exact, but it does have to fit uh, as tight as you can get it. Um, I see some people come back and they'll they'll foam in where they have a, not, a little gap there. Um, I'm not real big on that. You can do that if you want, um, but I, I just choose not to. The last thing I did, uh, let's see here, the last thing I did before I got to this point was I took and um, marked all of my um, cross members on the wall. Um, I have a drawing somewhere that has that stuff on it, but I've kind of modified it here and there when I started laying things out. So what I did was I took and, and drew me some markings on here and I'll take a picture and obviously I've got this video. Um, but you'll see there I've got marked uh, 17 inches center line to um, to the wall in the back. Hard to read that, but 17 inches to the wall. So when I'm inside the trailer, the trailer's finished. I'm ready to screw the cabinets in. I can measure from the wall out 17 inches and know that I have something there to screw into. Same thing here. Uh, six inches from the door will be the center area of that cavity there where my light uh, switch will go. Uh, 26 and a half inches to the roof. That will be from my bottom uh, part of my cabinet. So, anyways, I just made some reference marks there um, so that I would know where these things are for attaching stuff to in the future. All right, uh, that's about it. Next thing I'm going to do is take this wall and put the outside on it one little thing i forgot here is i didn't put i took um, because this door is going to have it's a pre-made door and it's going to have rounded corners i'll take and put some triangle pieces in the corners here so that we'll be able to cut the radiuses on the corners of the door uh, not a big deal now just as long as i get that done before we put the uh, the both surfaces on the wall uh, what i'm going to do is put the outside surface on the wall and then flip that over and do the inside. But that'll be in the next video. So uh, thanks for watching. And if you got any more questions, uh, shoot me a message at the bottom. Or if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. And I will 
uh, keep these updated. Thank you.